Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play of Dragon Quest VI, Realms of Reverie. This is the uh, Nintendo DS version. Uh, this was originally released on SNES, but the, the DS version has pr some pretty substantial differences, I think. Um, uh, and uh, I've not actually played through this. I played a little bit of the uh, SNES version when the like the translations were in their really early stages, uh, and I really could not get anywhere because of that. <laughs> so this is going to be the, essentially the first time uh, playing. Let me go ahead and delete the uh, current one that I was just using for testing. And let's go ahead and create a new adventure. And of course, we will be alled. Uh, we do not get to change our uh, gender, or choose our gender in this uh, game, so all it is. Create an adventure log. That went pretty fast. Oh, that's a nice little, uh, nice little camp. I, I'm not so sure that sleeping with your head on your sword is the best idea, however. Trouble sleeping? Um, no, nah, not really. Well, that's a relief. You looked restless. I sensed that your dreams were not tranquil ones. It's only natural. The time is almost at hand, after all. Now, where did he get to? He went to check the path ahead, but that was some time ago. Oi! Are you two done sawing logs? I was out reconning and, uh, uh, reconner and, uh, 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 scouting. Ain't no doubt about it. This is definitely the place. You get enough rest? It's high time we shove off. He's right. We've nothing to gain from dallying here. It's been a long journey, but our goal is finally in sight. We have no choice but to press on. Let's do this, old. A dread fiend ain't gonna defeat himself. Well, I mean, he might. The fate of the world rests on this battle. If we can emerge victorious, peace will be restored. We're as ready as we'll ever be. Come, Ald, we must go. Oh, this is going to be a pretty short game, then. Go ahead and take my sword, put it on my back. There's no one in the party to talk to at the moment. Aww. <laughs> We're doing party members. Hello. Mordor's holed up in his, inside his keep, just beyond this cliff. Aye, there ain't no turning back now. I mean, there might be. We, 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 could, we could turn back if we wanted. The final leg of our journey awaits us. If the legends are true, all that remains is to play this ocarina. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, is it going to identify uh, um, new stuff on an explorer's shore? Find me some rare metals? Something like that? Oh. No, it's, it's like gold, not blue. Boo! That's rather pretty. Oh, hey! You summoned a dragon! I, I want an ocarina that does that. All right, I'm here. You called. I want extra of uh, three of you, and one of you is big. I hope I get an extra tip this time. Ah, epic music of epicness. Whee! I mean, it's okay, I guess. It's it's no roller coaster or big whale. Which, that can actually be taken a couple ways. Oh god, he's drunk! Oh, hey, there it is. I guess that's our destination. Well, why didn't we just take the stairs? Okay, admittedly, that would be pretty tiring. Um, I, I, will, I will grant you that. Nyrom! Eh, 
it does seem a little creepy. The door is firmly locked. The door is firmly locked. I mean, I guess at least the door isn't ajar. Of course it's not a jar, it's a door. Are you getting a whiff of this fall air? Aye, this is Murdoch's castle, all right. It seems we've no, ch no other choice but to keep moving forward. Lead the way, Ald. Okie dokie. Well, this is the only way to go. <laughs> Which is kind of suspicious. Be careful, Ald. I sense that our presence here has not gone unnoticed. All right, let's push on. Keep your eyes peeled, Ald. The enemy could strike at any moment. You getting a whiff of this foul air? Aye, oh, this is Mur Murdoch's castle, all right. I, uh, cannot take a look at my, uh, my party members. I don't even know their names. Nice windows. <laughs> yeah, it's not that creepy. Oh, hello. The door is firmly locked. Hmm. wonder if those will uh, breathe fire on us if we get too close in front of them. The door is firmly locked. Oh. Alright. You ever get the feeling that we're being uh, funneled into a specific, uh, dire <laughs> a specific way? I should actually talk to you guys. Yeah, have anything else to say? Nope. Alright. <laughs> the presence of evil up here is stifling. Ah, oh, you feel that? We're close on in on a closing in on something, evil. Oh, it's like the air suddenly getting suddenly heavy. Nope, nothing else to say. Alright. Alt, wait. Murdow awaits us beyond this door. I can feel it. Yeah, I, I, I know. It's door diet time, Alt. It's been a real cakewalk so far, though, don't you think? Uh, yeah, I, I was kind of thinking that. And, and also, it feels like we're being funneled. Yeah, I, I mean, why build a creepy keep like this if you're gonna let us waltz right and without a fight? Bah, I'm through with thinking. After you, old. You still can't access my party. Alright, in we go. <laughs> huh? W what's going on? What's with this mist? I can't see a... Whoa! Ah! Oh, someone's levitating us. Well, that's just rude. Hi. <laughs> Did you really think it would be this easy? Fools prepare to spend the rest of eternity as lifeless lumps of stone. Can I get a rain check on that? Maybe let me get until I'm 80 and then turn me into stone? No? No, you're not gonna... Not... Wee! Oh. Well, okay, it's, it's not so much fun anymore. Oh, uh-oh. And we all exploded. Oh, well, that seems rather bad. Ah! Ow. I'm not sure who's speaking. I assume it's one of the, uh, one of my friends. Oh, wh what happened? Nope, apparently not. It's someone else. Hello? Ow. My face. What a fine brother you are, Ald, scaring me like that. Falling out of bed is no way to start your day. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, no. It hurts. Well, you'd better be. You've got a busy day ahead. Oh, by the way, Mayor Spindell stopped by earlier to see you. I told him you were sleeping, so he said he'd come back later. Okay... Why am I here? I, I, I thought I was, uh... 
Thought it was in a castle. What luck! A leather hat! All it requires is a leather hat. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, I can't even believe that I forgot to do it this time. There's nothing special. Oh, oh, the game knows. All it obtains 10 gold coins. Watch a seat of agility! All it requires is a seat of agility! I know some of you have been looking forward to that. Others, maybe not so much. Too bad. What kind of business would the mayor have with you this this early in the morning? I don't know. But hey, I can look at my uh my inventory and stuff. There's no one in the party to talk to at the moment. Tanya, get into my party so that I can talk to you. No no? Alright, fine. Uh well, let's go ahead and uh Equip the leather hat. I'll hold on to the seed of agility for now. I don't know if I will want to use them. I am a village lad! Mastery level. Uh, that's all blank, so uh, I assume that that means that I am not a master of anything. But I am a village lad! It is important. Uh, do do do, and nothing interesting there right now. Okay, well, let's go ahead and see if we can find the mayor then. Oh, we're up on a cliff. Kitty! Aw, oh, happy town music. Ah, oh, it's a good day. It's a good day. Definitely, uh, definitely not a, a, a day that uh, may have started with me dreaming about fighting a big, bad, evil thing that turned me to stone. What? A medicinal herb! All it requires a medicinal herb! Hey, herb, it's good to see you. Why are you in this game? My mama used to tell me tall tales about some boogeyman named Murdoch who's out to conquer the world. Yeah, it's all hogwash, I say. The spirit of the mountain will protect us forever, you betcha. We owe a lot to our mountain spirit. Oh, don't you go taking her for granted. Okay, I will immediately go do that. I, I would definitely be doing a, a Minnesotan accent if I could. Sorry, kid. Shop ain't open yet. Go back in the gif, all right? No, oh. kitty. Well. Mayor Spindel's residence. Well, we don't want to go up there yet. Nope, can't look at that. Want to know? You know the mayor came calling at your door earlier, eh? Oh, I bet you he wanted to discuss something about this year's Fortune Festival. Well, too bad to, for him. I was hoping you'd say something different, but no. Alright, it's good to know. Ooh, shiny. A splendid suit of armor is on display. It doesn't look like something Ald could afford. Ah, oh, ah, oh, rude. Some farming implements have been left here. Hey, y'all, the mayor's been looking all over for you. Why don't you go see what he wants before you dilly dally in here? There are some swords on display. There is a shield on display. I want all the goodies. All I have is a leather hat and, and such. Hello, church. The spirit crown is fabled to be the vessel from which our mountain spirit's power flows. On the night of the fortune festival, we set it upon our goddess statue in the hopes of a peaceful, bountiful year to come. Uh, I do not need to do anything. <laughs> well, good morning to you all. The mayor was poking around for you earlier. What? Which way is it to the mayor's house? Looks like someone get, didn't get their 12 hours of sleep last night. 12 hours? Holy cow, that would wipe me out. It's up on the hill right behind the church. You know that sleepyhead. Can I, can I climb down? Ald peers into the well. Yes. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm a bad, bad sea slime. I was hoping for a chance encounter with my pal Curie, but we keep missing each other. I need to stop spending so much time gooped up in my shell. 
Oh, a sea sign sprite. It's so cute. <laughs> that sister of yours sure is growing up fast. Tanya's every bit as charming as your mother, goddess rest her soul. She'll make a fine lady someday. <laughs> you don't know her the way I knew. <clears throat> Hello. You ever been to the market down the mountain? They've got one heck of a bazaar going on right now. Yeah, it's such a big to-do, the King of Somnia himself pays it a visit every year. Yeah, I'd be there myself if I could, you betcha. Hi, cow. Oh. What? A seed of resilience! Alt acquires the seed of resilience! Yeah, let's not go out just yet. Let's see what Elsa Town has to offer. Alt obtains 10 gold coins. <laughs> These hands just don't move like they used to. Take my advice and don't get old, kid. Ah, oh, don't worry, I'm not. We well, may be up in the boonies, but I'd put our goods up against anything the big cities have to offer. The women folk weave fabric while we men carve the most intricate wood pieces you'll ever see. Much of it gets sold at the bazaar down south of here. I can barely keep it on the shelves. Oh, for goddess's sake, it jammed on me again. I'm just not cut out for this. I'm a clothes wearer, not a clothes weaver. Move those fingers. Quit slouching. You want to, you want that stuff to sell, don't you? Weave, weave, weave. All right, who put the barrels back? Yuck! Well, someone's a little brat. Ald examines the graffiti on the wall. Buddy's a wimp. Hmm. Now well, let's head in here. Ald obtains three gold coins. Oh yeah, so rich. Ah, stupid spin down. Thinks I'm too over the hill to for the trip down the mountain, does he? <laughs> well, he's dead wrong. <laughs> Old Codger's really got his dander up. Can't say I blame him neither. Poor guy used to be in charge of hauling the village goods down to the market in Haggleton. But not no more. Hey there, Old. I heard Tanya's going to be a divine messenger for this year's fortune festival. Ain't that something? Of course, my buddy just about went berserk when he heard. He already worships the ground she walks on, so it's quite fitting, don't you think? Yeah, I, want, I, want the, I want to get the pot. Can, can, can I get to the pot? No. Boo. Well, hello there, old. Looking for my no good son. But he's probably by the cliff to the south again, watching the wind blow or whatever it is he does. God has forbid he'd ever try to put in a day of good, honest work for a change. There's nothing special there. There's nothing special there. Aw. Dude, get stuff for your drawers. I, I, I need to loot them. <laughs> well, I guess we'll go uh, pay a visit to the mayor. What? A medicinal herb! Alt acquires the medicinal herb! Well, hey there, old. Looking for the mayor? You'll find him inside, you betcha. Where did we come from? Where do we go next? Of late, I do not even know how long I have been here. So says Somnus, young king of Somnia. Ain't that a heck of a thing? I, I guess. Maybe? Don't mind me, just need to check your pots. What? An antidotal herb! Alt acquires an ant the antidotal herb! Ah, there you are, my boy. We've got a little job for you today, Alt. Surely you're aware of how much our village goods fetch down in Haggleton. Uh, no, I, I know. What, what? You've lived here all this time and you don't know about our famous exports? I'm, I don't think I've lived here all this time. 
Our fine silken cloth, our intricately crafted wooden knickknacks. Uh, it's what we're known for. These goods are ferried down to the base of the mountain, where they're sold on the open market. The proceeds from these goods pay for the spirit crown we use for the fortune festival each year. This year, Ald, I'd like to ask you to procure the crown for our village. The path down the mountain can be tricky at times, but I'm sure you're more than up to the task. Ten sheets of silk and one wooden knickknack should fetch more than enough for, for the crown. Do you think you can handle this, Ald? Uh, not really. But, but, but Ald, this is for the sake of the entire village! Surely you can take care of this for us? I don't know. Alright, fine. But thou must. Wonderful. I'll put everything in your bag. Make sure you don't lose it now. Ald receives the village goods. I feel like that's... I'm gonna lose it. Once you get down the cliffs, just follow the path south until you reach the town of Hagleton. Best of luck, Ald. Definitely not gonna get it. Mosey on south down the mountain to reach Hagleton. Be good to those goods, Ald. Village goods. Use this item when the town time is right. A selection of wooden and silk creations from the artisans of Weaver's Peak. Silk, huh? Hello. Oh, I didn't expect to see you here, Ald. Almost time for the fortune festival, eh? That means Buddy will have his present ready for me soon. He promised he'd give me a fancy carved pendant for the big day. Hehe, <laughs> sure hope he remembers. There's nothing special there. Aww. Ald looks at the bookshelves. There's a book entitled The Quotable Slime, Volume 1. Ald takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. It includes such gems as There's No Slime Like the Present, a favorite saying of Sir Slimon Guinton Smythe. Ald gazes into the mirror. He sees a very tired reflection looking back at him. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm glad you got some new pots there, buddy. <laughs> oh, you're back, so what did Mayor Spindel want? What, he's sending you to buy the spirit crown? Wow, that's a dream job, Ald. The way down is a bit dangerous, but I know you can handle it. You are my brother, after all. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? You know, okay, so I, I'll be honest, I thought she was uh, um, an elf first. So uh, let me leave and come back in and see if it that repositions her. So, okay, so she's got a hair ornament. I, I thought that was an ear. But it's only on one side. Are you open for business? Welcome to the village shop. I've got all kinds of things for sale here. What can I do for you? Uh, medicinal herb, antidotal herb, chimera wing, leather hat, and hardwood headwear. I would like to get a hardwood headwear, but I cannot afford it. What about you? Nope. Okay. Alrighty, what- Oh, hey there. Um, <laughs> hi there, welcome to Weaver's Peak. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Alright, that looks like the way down. Some mottle slimes appear! Well, these are new. Let's go ahead and kill them a little bit. We got new uh, battle music. Four experience points, two gold coins. I would like to get uh, the hardwood headwear before I go. If I can. Feral Ball! Okay, not too difficult. I may not get enough money uh, doing this. That is not a whole lot of money. Ooh, map info. So we got a uh, map up top that will get revealed as we go. I suppose I could sell a medicinal herb, but... Nah. <laughs> Alright, 
was uh, 120. What if I sold my leather hat? Forty-eight gold coins. All right. Nope. That overly sensitive controller. All right. Let's get to the hardwood headwear. And equipment. So it went from nine to thirteen. So that seems like a pretty good uh, uh, boost to my defense. And I now have twenty-seven gold. All right, but when we come back next time, we'll head down the cliff and see if we can figure out whether that uh, that fight against Murdaugh was just a dream or whether it was a premonition or something else. See you next time, everyone. Thank you for watching the first episode of Dragon Quest VI.